Okay, so what we have here is the Java AMPR uh, website, which is the uh, website for all of the um, source code for the Java AMPR and all the Java files. You can get the configuration information on there. As you can see, we've got this running. As I um, close this down. As you can see, we've got it running on the Raspberry Pi. And we've downloaded some of their images that we can test. So if I open up the, the uh, Java MPR, what we're going to do is we're going to um, just see how it takes to recognize a plate. So if I click it now, one second, two seconds. That was actually done quite quickly. That was done in about th two and a half seconds. We can recognize this. One second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can pretty much fairly say that that was not going to get recognised. Let's try another image. One second, two seconds. That's fairly well, fairly, fairly fast. Recognise the image. Like I said, these are sample images that are supplied with the uh, SDK. Sorry, not the SDK, the um, the Java runtime software. Not a very good recognition on that one. I'm surprised they put that into their uh, test database. What the plan is to do to uh, lighten the load, you can see my process, it's, it's maxed out there. Look. The Raspberry Pi is actually overclocked at 800 megahertz, no overvolt on the CPU. And I am RD, RDM remote desktop into the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. That gave up the ghost on that image. So what we want to do is to make this a bit easier we're going to have the RPI webcam control which you've seen in previous videos um, doing the, the video collection and what we're going to set it to do is to capture still images um, upon movement so when the camera sees movement, it will capture a, a selection of still images, possibly maybe 10 frames over 2 seconds, I think would be fair enough to say. And then we can pass those 10 frames to the Java MPR recognition to process them frames individually and return a HTTP post to a server. Well, that's what we're looking to hope to do. As you can see, we're just getting to grips with the speed of the recognition on the Raspberry Pi, so it's, it's being done so far. This is manual inputs, so we're going to uh, set the recognition to be automatic and we're going to pass the images to the folder where the AMPR software 